morning friends how's everyone doing today i'm just coming on with a real fast video i told my friend Lori over at pd pie designs that i would make she was just curious about jelly prints and what you use them for and you can use them for die cuts pages in a journal collage um anything that you would use rice paper scrapbook paper for you can use your jelly prints for so my first example here is just taking some old cards these were free sample cards and i just jelly printed on the back of them this was just abstract just playing around with colors and then i die cut all of these out and it's just fun you get all types of colors So yeah, and then um, as you start improving with your gel plating, you might start to get some really cool pieces. Like this is one of my favorites that I've created. It, the background looks like a batik to me with this gorgeous silver um, design on the top. So this is one of my favorites that I've made so far. And I would maybe cut, you know, the border off here and fold it for a page in a journal. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? So definitely could use these for pages in your journal. And then, I don't know if you guys remember that assemblage piece I had made, but I used gel plating papers to collage the background. A lot of the collaging was around the edge, which is now <laughs> hidden by the ribbon. So. You can't really see that, but um, especially when you use the tissue paper on the gel plate, you get a real thin texture, which is great for collaging. So you can collage your backgrounds. Also, these uh, little flowers here I made are from gel, uh, gel prints. I just cut out a bunch of circles and glued them together. So yeah, um, you can do pretty much anything that you would use your rice papers or scrapbook papers or any design paper for, you can use your gel plate prints for. And oftentimes I just use the cheap printer paper, but again, you can use tissue paper, um, all types of different mediums. Uh, they say not to use photo paper. So I will throw that out there. Photo paper can um, uh, stick to your gel plate and rip. Hold on one second. Let me grab this other piece. I thought I got it. And then you can um, also start to really experiment. So... I uh, was using, um, what do you call it? Just like junk mail papers that you get in the mail. And it was a newspaper type um, matte finish paper. It wasn't glossy. And I thought, oh, this might be fun to print on. So I print, you know, laid the paper down on the paint. And when I lifted the paper up, the images that were on the paper stayed on my gel plate. Then I put a layer of gold down and I was able to pull it. So you can see here, this is a reproduction of the newspaper page that I had used. So you can really start to get some fun things once you start figuring out how to do transfers like that. That's super fun. So that's a whole nother avenue path that you can take with the gel plating which I have not gotten to explore yet this actually happened to me completely on accident and it was such a fun cool accident so uh yeah it was some sort of ad or something that came in the mail I don't remember now but it looks like bookpage.com <laughs> so anyway that's just a whole nother really super cool thing that you can do as well um, that's all for me today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.